Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at an essay AI writer. So basically, we're going to see how we can write human-like essays, which are undetectable by all the different AI detectors out there. We're going to go through the whole process of how we can create the essays, throw it in manually, do the verification steps and so on. So we make sure that it is undetectable, can be used for both getting inspiration, making yourself more productive and so on, but also just to write essays faster and make yourself more productive with the use of AI. So let's just jump straight into the essay AI platform. Let's go in and take a look at it and try to see some examples. Up here at the top, we have some free examples that you can take a look at if you just want to get inspiration for different essays and so on that you want to write. We also have a video where we cover how to do research with AI models. So you can basically like write research papers, look up different papers and so on in databases. It can even generate citations, different references and so on for your paper if you're researching a specific area. And if you're using just ChatGPT, all the other large language models out there, they're just going to hallucinate and generate a lot of random citations, also research papers, which doesn't even exist out there. So you can use these AI based tools, which are specifically made for that. So here we see a bunch of different free examples that you can go in and use as a baseline, get some inspiration, fine tune it on your own. Like these tools here should not be used for any cheating and so on, but used for making yourself more productive as all the videos that we have covered here on the channel. So right now, let's just jump into the essay AI tool. Let's go in and describe our topic that we want to generate an essay for. We can specify the type, the language, and also the number of words. Then we can generate a title, outline, and it will generate an essay for us, which is human-like. And let's then go ahead and verify it, pass it through the different AI detectors and see how it works. So for the topic here, let's just try to see if we can find a good one. So we can probably just have it write an essay about probably just like how YouTube can be used for like learning, researching new stuff and so on. So um, create an essay about how YouTube can help you in learning. There we go. Now we have described the topic here that we want to generate an essay for. So we have all these different types that you can choose between basic, descriptive, comparative, and so on. So right now, let's just go in and just take the, per the, the basic example, the number of words, we can specify how many we want to use. If you just want to create like a baseline that you can then write on top of uh, by yourself just to get some inspiration, which is which is a pretty good idea and also a tool that you can use for that. So just do the number of words here, we can specify the, the language as well. So tons of different languages are covered in here. Let's just go with English for now. Then we have this undetectable mode where it basically just takes the AI generated essay, which is human like, then it passes it through all these different detectors, GPT Zero, Originality AI, uh, Turnitin, Zero GPT, Winston AI, and all those different kind of guys. But we're also going to verify it manually just to make sure that it's 100% undetectable. So let's just check this mode here off. We can have one click generation or we can go in and generate titles. Let's just go in and generate some titles here. It's just going to generate titles based on your description and what you have in here. So right now we have a bunch of title examples that we can come up with. We can choose which of the ones that we want. So right now, let's just go with the first one, YouTube, a learning platform for the digital age. So I think that's a pretty good title for a, a very good essay. We can also have like this a disruptive force in the education sector. So right now we have the title, we have a brief um, introduction. Right now we're going to generate an outline. So SAI is generating an outline. Please wait a moment, it'll just take a few seconds and we get the basic outline. So right now we actually like get two examples here. We can go in and add no another like talking point. If you want to specify a bit more detail, specific things that we want to cover before it generates the essay. So this is also a pretty good tool. Basically just to add your own touches, if you want to have something that you want to start out with, you maybe have some false ideas, done some brainstorming, you can just put it in here and it's going to include that in the in AI generated essays. Again, it's not like it's just going to generate like essays with thousands of words, so you can use this as a baseline and basically just help you get started. The hardest thing when you're starting out with essays, at least for me personally, was actually like just to get started, write something and then once you have just the first few hundred words, like you're just going to, it's just going to make it way easier to add more details and just getting started. So that's the hardest part pretty much with everything in life. I have outlined one and also outlined two. We can go through them. Let's just go with outline two for now. Now we can just hit 
generate essay and we should be good to go. It's just going to generate it in a second and we will get all the details here with the whole document. We can add text, our own text and so on. So this is just going to generate the baseline. So here we can see that the output seems to be human written and it basically just runs it through these different checks for the different AI detectors. So it should be good, good to go now. Let's go in and take a look at the essay probably still pass it through again we can use it as a baseline right now it's still like divided up in this kind of like structure but you can write more about it like if you're writing an essay you might want to have it more detailed like have more pages and so on for each individual talking point that you want to cover but again get started with this here and then you can just keep adding to it yourself it doesn't really matter if you're writing essays in high school you can also use this in university if you have some baselines that you just want to generate for reports research papers and so on. You can add the text, the different styles, headings, bold, all of this as you're used to in documents in docs, word, and so on. We can see the number of words. We can also go up and add a new one. So yeah, this is pretty much all the functionality that we have in here. Let's go in and copy all the text and throw it through the different detectors just to make sure that it acts like human-like and bypasses these detectors. So just start inside originality AI here. Let's just detect AI content. Right now, it's just going to load it. Let's paste in the content here. And right now, we're just going to scan it, go inside the other tools while it's scanning. So we have GPT-0 as well. We run the scan. There we go. We have copy leaks. We're just going to choose the text. Scan. Let's now go inside 0 GPT. Detect text. Content at scale. So we're basically just going to pass it through all of these here just to make sure that it is act like uh, human-like. Check for AI content. And the last one here is Winston. So I've just passed it through all these detectors. Let's now go back to the first one and take a look at it and see if it passes. So in here for originality AI, this is a pretty good score, 90% original. And again, only 1% AI, which is very low. We can even see here what the confidences are for all the different parts of the text. And if you just go in and add more text on top of it yourself and so on, like it will pretty much be like, impossible to detect with any AI tools out there. We have GPT-0, 4% probability AI generated. It is also pretty much 100% human-like. In here for copy leaks, we can just go a bit further down. AI content, 0%. We have our 0 GPT, 5% AI generated. So that's also passing as a human. In here, passes as a human. We can see some here. It is act like flagging that likely to be AI generated, but not in general. Uh, I still pass as a human and we get very low AI score on the other platforms. So, so inside the Winston platform, we get 82% human score. But if we go down to the tech tier, we can see that everything is, is highlighted as unlikely AI generated. So it could just be because we don't have enough words in our text. Again, we only have like these 450 words. So this is pretty much good to go. All the platforms here are passing. Originality AI, 99%. So this is how you can use essay AI tool to go in, generate some text, use it as a baseline, build on top of that and make yourself more productive. And also just to get some inspiration. They also have the free examples in there it can be used for making yourself more productive. This is the way that we should use AI. Don't just use it to write your whole essay. We still need to learn. This shouldn't be used as a cheating tool, but again, make yourself more productive. That is what AI is here for. Like when we are copying code out in the real world to use in different programs, projects, for applications, commercial applications, and so on in companies. We just all want to make ourselves more productive and at the end of the day, have a higher throughput. So thanks a lot for watching this video here, guys. Definitely go in and check out these tools. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning. If you want to get into an AI career, you should definitely check out my AI career program. The program is basically all my experiences from how I went from an average student to where I am today. The program consists of three main categories. We have my technical courses, my personal branding course, and then the AI career path. We have a whole community in there with like-minded people supporting each other. And every week we will have weekly live calls where I support and help all of you guys. Over time, more courses, resources, code templates, and so on will be added to the program. You will give lifetime access. So the sooner you join, the more value you will get for your money. Let me help you take your AI career to the next levels.